My name Bessie, yeah. Come and rock out no Elvis Pressy. What's up, y'all? It's Bess, and I'm back with another video. So today's video, as I could tell by the title, I'm going to be attempting to put on a lace front wig by myself. And this is the company that I got the hair from. I got this hair from Amazon for like a hundred and some dollars. I'm going to link it down below. I don't really remember the price. But the first thing I'm going to be doing is putting this wig cap on. This is just a wig cap that it came with. It also came with like these really cute pairs of lashes. So what I'm doing here is just taking the wig cap out of the bag. I struggled with this a little bit, so y'all just give me some time. And then I'm just going to put that on my head, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this part. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and start the process. So now that I have gotten the wig cap on my head, I'm pulling it down a little bit. I like to pull it down all the way to where my eyebrows are at, just so I can spray as much as I need to. Now I'm just going to go ahead and spray the Goss to Be Glue all over the top of that. And you want to spray as close to your hairline as possible, but not directly on it. So that's exactly what I'm doing, as y'all can see right here. So after you spray, you just dry and just keep repeating that until the wig cap is all the way dry. So what y'all see me doing here after I've put the wig cap on is cutting the part where my ears are supposed to go. I just pull it a little bit and cut through it. It's It was hard for me because I have nails so it took me a little while but once I got it cut I'm just going to pull it over my ears and I'm just going to repeat that with both of my ears. So this is what y'all see me doing right here and just pulling it across my ears. You just want it to be on top of your ears so your ears is not crammed up under the wig. So this is how it's supposed to look when you're done with that. And now I'm just going to go do the second part. Y'all had had a little jam session. I'm not going to talk most through this part because I already told y'all what to do. Just cut the ears and put it over. And that's pretty much it. So once I cut the part with my ears, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace. So I just hold it down the middle and I'm just going to go ahead and cut up. The scissors wasn't that fine, so it took me a while. But that's all I'm doing in this part. Just go ahead and cut your lace. I'm not going to talk through it once again because you can clearly see what I'm doing. So just cut it as close to your hairline as possible. But don't cut it to where your hair is showing because the point of the cap is to protect your head. So this is what it looks like once I had it cut to as much as I wanted to. I was cutting it down a little bit because I felt like it wasn't that close to my hairline. But I just wanted to give y'all a little snippet of how it would look once you have the lace cut. So this is basically how it looks. You just want to make sure that you cut all the little fine ends off of it, all the little stringy ends that you don't want to show when you're trying to put on your lace. So after I've cut my lace to how I want it to, the next thing I'm going to do is put foundation on it. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the color 495. So I'm just showing y'all what foundation I'm using. I'm just going to put that on the brush and just put that all over my lace because you want the lace to look like it's your hair. So as y'all can see, I'm just making sure that I have foundation all over it. And that means at the very ends to the very tops. So once you do that, you make sure that you may have foundation all the way in the back also because you want it to be able to be parted any type of way you would like for your wig. So this is just me putting foundation on my head. I'm not going to talk too much through it. That's pretty much about it. I'm just going to fast forward this and let y'all see how this process goes. So once I'm done putting the foundation all over, I'm just going to see how this wig is going to look on my head. But before I put the actual wig on, I'm going to put foundation inside of it. But y'all, I was hype! So this is just me trying the wig on my head and showing y'all what type of wig it is. It's just a very curly wig that activates whenever you put water in it or whatever. So this is pretty much me going through the wig. And now I'm just going to put it on top of my head so you guys can see how it's going to look. Of course, it's not going to look as good as it needs to because I have not put foundation on. But this is just me trying to get a feel of the wig. So after I got a feel of the wig, I'm just going through it and putting the foundation that I put on top of my wig cap, which is the Fenty Beauty Foundation in 495. So I'm just rubbing the makeup all over the lace of the wig because I want the wig to match my skin tone once again. So after I do that, I'm just going to pretty much put the wig on top of my head. So this is just me with the wig after I have put the foundation on top of the lace. As y'all can see, the lace is more easily blended in with my head. So I'm just sliding the wig on to where I want it to be. So this takes me a while to do, but once I get it where I want to get it at, after I have pulled it around at least 7,000 times, 
I'm just going to go ahead and cut the uh, lace into three sections, which is the middle and the two sides because I want to glue them down individually. So this is when I have finally gotten the wig to where I wanted to be at. And now you're just going to grab some scissors, any type of scissors, honestly, and just cut your lace. This was just me looking for my scissors. Y'all couldn't find them. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting. As y'all can see, I cut a little bit on the sides. And I cut a little bit on the other side to where there's a middle section, a side section, and another side section. And this is just me lifting up to show y'all how you're going to put your lace down. So now that I've gotten my wig to where I want it to be and gotten the lace cut, I'm just going to go ahead and get some bold hold, which is what I'm just going to be using for my lace. This is just me showing you guys the type that I use. I use Ghost Bond, and this is just something my best friend got off Amazon, so you can find it on Amazon. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put on the different sections. So I started off with my first side section. I didn't put three layers like a lot of people do. I just dabbed it and then I used a blow dryer and I let it dry a little bit and then I put the lace on top of it. So this is basically what y'all see me doing here. And I just use a regular Conair blow dryer. Nothing you can't find at Walmart. So this is just me blow drying it and I'm going to lay down the lace on top of it and I'm going to keep repeating that between sections. <laughs> and as dry as it needs to be I'm just gonna go ahead and cut along the lace and you don't want the lace to show up so you need to cut as much to your hairline as possible so I'm just gonna keep on doing that until I get the lace exactly how I want it to be I waited till after I glued it down to cut it because I wanted to know where my lace was gonna be at and how it was gonna look so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this part because don't need to talk too much <music> the wig ended up looking when I was done with it I was thinking about doing some edges but I ended up not doing it and I ended the video abruptly because I like the way the wig turned out and I ended up just curling the little front pieces that were cut into edges so this is pretty much gonna be the end of the video I'm gonna actually insert some pictures and videos on how it turned out because I forgot to do it after so thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Bessie Naela, Snapchat Bessie Innocent, and Twitter at Bessie Naela.